Hi, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math Problem of the Week. This week, we have a probability problem. And the problem is, Danny and Mike play a game by each tossing a fair coin repeatedly. Danny wins if two consecutive heads are observed. Mike wins if two consecutive tails are observed. If Danny tosses the coin first and gets a head, then Mike tosses the coin, and so on and so forth, what is the probability that Danny wins? Um, so basically, what we know is that Danny first tosses the coin, then Mike, then Danny, then Mike. And that just continues until one of them wins. And we know that Danny first tosses the coin and he receives a head. Um, so to begin, we're just going to define W as the event that Danny wins. And we're going to say that W is equal to the subset of events where Danny gets a head Mike gets a head, Danny gets a head, Mike gets a tail, Danny then would get a head, Mike get a head, and just continue on until um, basically we get two consecutive heads so that Danny wins. So this kind of just continues on and on um, infinitely until we get two consecutive heads to end the game. Um, so now what we can do is find that W is equal to the probability of these events occurring. So what we're trying to find really is the probability that this event W occurs. And it's this infinitely continuous kind of sequence of different flips. And what we do know since this is a fair coin is that the probability of getting heads we can say it's equal to little p, which is also equal to 1 half, since it's a fair coin. And the probability of getting tails would be equal to q, which is equal to 1 minus p, which is also equal to 1 half, because it is a fair coin. So now that we have kind of the sequence of what w is equal to, the probability of these different events occurring, we can turn it into a sequence and then solve. So using that we know the probability of getting a heads and the probability of getting a tails, we can turn W, the probability that um, these events occur, into this sequence um, using the probabilities from before. So the probability of getting heads, heads, 1 half times 1 half, probability of getting heads, tails, heads, heads, 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half, and so on and so forth, just infinitely going until we get two consecutive heads. Um, so what you'll probably notice now is that if we manipulate this a little bit, you can see that it's a geometric series and that it'll sum um, to one number. Um, we can move it around a little bit to make that more obvious. So kind of moving some things around, what we eventually get is that 1 fourth times 1 plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth squared plus 1 fourth cubed so on, um, actually is the same as what this sequence is. We just pull out this 1 half times 1 half, 1 fourth, out of the whole equation and simplify uh, different parts. Um, so looking at that, you can obviously notice that that's a geometric sequence. It's pretty clear. And from this, we can tell that a is equal to 1 fourth and that r is also equal to 1 fourth. Um, we have r here, r plus r squared plus r cubed, and it would go on plus r to the fourth plus r to the fifth, keep going. And this a is just pulled all the way out of the equation. And since the absolute value of r, so the absolute value of one fourth, is less than one, what that tells us just by the definition of geometric series is that this sequence will converge. It converges to a over 1 minus r, which is equal to 1 fourth over 1 minus 1 fourth, which comes out to be 1 third. So the probability that um, Danny wins this game um, that he's playing with Mike 
when he first tosses and gets ahead is actually equal to one-third. So that's all we have for you today for this week's problem of the week. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please check out some more of our videos on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.